thought I was in the hospital. Uh, you know, I, I, it was an alarming situation to think that I had been you know, hurt that seriously. You know, the pain was very great. It was excruciating. So I, I figured I had some pretty serious injury, but I felt I was probably safe in a hospital that they, I was being taken care of. There was some sort of device across my chest. I had a lot of pain in my chest. So and maybe this thing was some sort of treatment or, you know, um, I didn't know. Um, I couldn't see all that clearly. It was, uh, it was blurry and double vision. And uh, I could hear the sounds of movement around me. And I just took this to be doctors, that things were being taken care of. I was on some sort of a raised table, a gurney operating table or something. And then when I looked in the direction of the movement sounds, you know, I could see blurry forms that I thought were doctors wearing surgical caps and, and masks, you know. It's just an area across where the eyes would be that would be uncovered by that. And, but it, when I sharpened the focus in my eyes, I could see that was not the case, that they, I was looking into the face of this creature. Then I knew I, I was not in the hospital and I was in very great danger. I, I felt that, you know, this was, it was extremely life-threatening. His face was so close to me, another right behind him. The fear gave me the strength to raise my arm, but I, my attention was riveted on them. Um, that was a traumatic moment, to, you know, the face off with these creatures. They were immediately coming around the table towards me. I felt very weak and unsteady, and I bumped up against a shelf or a, a workbench. I was just riveted on these creatures coming towards me. That moment was the peak of the fear and the, um, you know, the focus of my nightmares for the months afterwards. And staring in a way that felt invasive and intrusive, like they were looking inside of me. 
in a way that stimulus and squirmy feeling in my head that it was a, it was a, it was agonizing. It, it was horrible. But, you know, once it was apparent they weren't going to physically or even telepathically control me, they turned and left the room.